Well, 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 welcome back to the Sidetrack Podcast. Your two favorite biatches. Yeah, we're raw dogging this. Story of my life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> true. <laughs> Um, whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. Life is life. I think I could have gotten Taylor Swift on this podcast. Before me in the last few weeks. Yeah. Yes. I, I think I could have gotten a, a hold of Taylor Swift before you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I will just say this. I haven't shared much about being pregnant, but obviously because it's just like privacy is, privacy is a thing. Yes. But everybody, I mean, not everybody, everyone's pregnancy is different and I'm not going to make being pregnant my whole personality as I wear a skeleton shirt with a baby. Um, but I am not one of those women who has been blessed to have like the most smooth, perfect, beautiful, I feel like a, a million bucks pregnancies. Every time something gets better, like something else gets wor- worse. Like last week I was peeing blood clots. This week I did find out I don't have gestational diabetes. Yay! They, I have to get tested twice because I'm chunky. Mm-hmm. And I actually had like perfect results. So... Good. Very good. Hopefully we're on the up. Yeah. Aside from yesterday, there has, there's been very little, um, contact between us, which Mm -hmm. is just because, you know, you're going through life. I'm going through life. We're doing, there's, I think we're actually, never mind. What? What? Just drifting. Yeah. We're drifting apart. No. Yeah. It's been, um, but it's, that's nice though, because then yesterday it was like, we stayed up until like Mm 1am just talking. I love those. Yeah. Conversation. Here we are. We are back in the flesh. And we're feeling good. We're feeling yeah. rested. Yeah, I have energy today, even though we got little to no sleep. Mm-hmm. Usually when we film the podcast, it's like 7, 8, 9 p.m., mm-hmm. even though like he is here all day long. <laughs> um, and today it's much earlier. It's later than we wanted, but that's because of camera batteries, not because of Andrew. So it give was him not some my credit. fault today. Yes, you did get up at a decent time. Uh-huh. And we're both making improvements because why don't you go ahead and show the bottom of your feet? Well, I did change the socks on purpose right before well, we filmed. Don't say that. And like, I just looked in, they're kind of dirty. Don't say that. <gasps> Very, ve- okay, we get it, you're flexible. You can. You don't have to. I was ho- showing, oh, you like can't you ha- see you my ha- feet unless I to- go like this. Got it. <laughs> it's unfortunately. Before we get into anything, I feel like I have to address the elephant in the room, and that's this candle. It's the best candle I've ever got in my life. Can you say what it is so that I can actually remember to buy it? You know, the name of it is. Not on the top of my brain. Pumpkin clove, pumpkin chive. Pumpkin clove, it was. It's from Anthropology, And I usually do not buy expensive candles. I just went to Target and How spent, I think it's like $38. Oh, okay, that's worth it for this. For this smell. No, and I agree. And it's burning beautifully. I went and got a bunch of candles from Target because they're cheap, like 10, 15 bucks for a candle. I got to say the, the, be- the next best candle aside from this is warm cider and cinnamon from... Target. It's not like one of such bad luck with Target candles. They burn like shit. It's always kind of. It's always like out of there. It's a little bit more expensive. It's always out of their candle section. It's like a little far away from it. Always every year. It is the best smelling candle. I went. I buy so many every year, and I just went and I bought three. I'll have to try. Maybe not getting. I do try to get like the cheaper ones. That's like oh, I can get. We have a decent sized house. I can get a candle for each room or whatever, and it doesn't cost a million dollars. Versus I see people on TikTok buying like two hundred dollar candles. I'm like, I don't get it. It's not that big. No. Like I saw, oh, oh, what's her name? Oh, Tara. What happened to Tara's world? Her. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah. (laughs) She bought a $600 candle and the box was massive. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the biggest candle I've ever seen. And it was only like this big. For $600? My thing is, my, my toxic trait is when candles start getting lower, I start getting like I'm what like, do you mean? I want a new one. Oh. So like I have like a whole bunch of candles like. Th- well, do you have a wax warmer? <sighs> no. We always like say when it gets to the bottom, like we sacrifice it to the wax warmer, to the candle warmer. Mm. And we just like burn the rest of it that I way. I also try not to burn too many because like I know like it could be like really bad. Um, and I don't care about me, but my dogs. I, I'm like, oh, yeah. my, they're probably more sensitive to it. But I, I, I still, I, I only burn them in the fall and sometimes the winter. Yeah, I, this specific candle is bringing me actual joy. Like, it's, it's the reason I have a smile on my face oh, today. We were setting up this podcast and all we were saying is like, I'm in a good mood because yes. this candle. It, I got it I, a couple days ago, like over the weekend. And uh, we're, I started burning it yesterday while I was attempting to make a sweet potato pie for the first time. I don't know if it's that I'm having a kid. I just feel like I need, I've been baking, like lemon loaves. and like, like, I have to know how to bake. Yeah. Um, but... I thought the pie was what smelled so good, but I was giving myself way too much credit. It was the candle that I had just lit. And <laughs> oh, I, yes. that's funny. Well, it started smelling 
immediately. Like usually like, especially with these target candles, it takes a long time before I can even smell them or I have to like leave the room and come back. And then I can smell that there's a candle burning in the room. This tiny little one wick candle filled the entire bottom floor of the house with the most wonderful smell. Yeah, I will say, obviously, it's a, a girthy house and it fills the whole... Like, if you and guys this buy this... One. If you're like, oh, God, it's $38. That's crazy for a candle. If you buy if you buy it, you will not be upset. It is so no, good. No, I'd rather buy this one candle is doing more than the seven or eight Target candles that I bought for... I got, what, like seven for like double the price of this candle, but I have gotten angry and mad at five of those candles so far. And mm-hmm. like, they're half burned because like the wicks are going in different directions. This is a first world problem, but... If I'm spending money on something, I want it to be worth it. Okay, circling back, what happened to Tara's world? I think she's fine. I, I think. meant to ask you this. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with people very well. Me either. Just like trying to like not look at social media as much. So it's like super good at it at the beginning of the year. But I think she's just like in a happy relationship. I just don't go on TikTok much. Me, I do. I'm getting said I'm getting better. Honestly, ever since my for you page has only become about pregnancy stuff. Yeah. I don't enjoy scrolling as much anymore. Yeah. And it's not that I don't like seeing other people's like journeys and stuff. I just, I'm going to have a kid for forever. Like if I could not hear about it 24 seven, I guess, like I'm still me, like I'm going to have my own stuff. So it's like, yeah. maybe that's why I'm not liking scrolling as much. Mm-hmm. I've been into like long form YouTube. I was just going to say something people might be excited to hear is we're both going to be diving back. Like old into style like YouTube old, videos. Old school YouTube, like the like collabs yes and stuff like that yeah. and like just like i miss that side of youtube so much i love a good vlog but i also just feel like especially like moving into an era where i just want to have more privacy i still want to be able to make like fun content and i like all i've been watching are like yes long videos like long vlogs of people like doing nothing in their lives but also just like the fun like Meryl Twins challenge videos oh God, I just and love that. i know <laughs> if i'm anxious or i'm having a day where i just need to not think about anything, I throw on Meryl Twins videos and just let them play. I told you, I know they post yeah. every Tuesday. Yes. Yeah, we, they go live every Thursday. What? And for members, they go live every Tuesday. <laughs> We're sitting last night just talking like literally until one in the morning. And he asked me if there were any YouTubers that I've never missed, like one of their videos. And I'm like, honestly, like, no, I kind of like switch it up a lot. I'll go through phases where like, I'll watch someone's videos for a while, but like not never missed one. Like yeah. even Emma, like I miss videos and stuff. And he all of a sudden starts like reciting the schedules <laughs> of all of the channels that he watches, their upload days, like the times they typically upload. Yeah. No, I know that. Yeah. It's, it's actually crazy. But I wait for them. I really do. Yeah, and that- that's why it's such a shame that I just upload whenever. Yeah. Because like, I understand that people really wait for them. I, yeah. I often, I think back when I first started, I tried to have a uploading schedule, but I was just such a different person. Like I just was not good at sticking to things. I mean, like yeah. as if we're great at uploading every Monday, but I often wonder if like having a schedule like does help. Well, nowadays, as like, like I just have never even considered it because it did not work for me back then. It, so I've always just been like, eh, I'll post a whenever thing. It does. That's why like if I like wind up getting like a job, yeah. like a but not a job, but like a yeah, a like different a job, regular, like aside from you. Yeah. I think I would be able like I would like set aside like okay Tuesdays I film. Yeah. Like Tuesday after work yeah. I film. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas like I think I think it helps so much. Yeah. It has to. Yeah. We but were I'm both. also, I'm just like you. You're just like me. Yes. I'm, I'm just, just like, like you. you. <laughs> you're just like me. No, we were also talking last night about, this is just like literal, like stupid shit that we've actually talked about on the podcast before. I've talked about in videos before is we go through phases, or at least I do. I go through phases where like, I'm really good about having like a routine and a schedule in my life. And mm-hmm. the past few months being as hectic as they have been, I haven't had that at all. And we just were, were sitting there like, oh, we wonder like if having a routine would help us or if we'd feel better. And it's like, yes, we've sat and told people for an hour, hours and hours about how like your mental health would be better if you have a strict routine, but we we're humans. It. So it's like we getting back yeah. to that point. I've never really had a routine just like, cause like before the social media life, I was a server. Yeah. And that changes a lot. Yeah. yeah. And so like some days you're working Tuesday morning, other days you're working Saturday night. Yeah. It's just like, so I never really had a routine, but I'm excited to hopefully have one. I mean, We'll see. I don't know. Who knows? I'm, I'm, I feel myself entering a new stage of life as you, you do too. Yeah. But like, obviously we're best friends. So that kind of goes hand in hand, but. And we're also just getting old. Yeah. Well, I'm there already, but I think, um, I mean, I'm excited for it and I'm excited for us to really dive back into YouTube. No, me too. Like we're after this, we're going to go like just film some like old fun style videos that aren't like, 
as like life substance. It's just like fun to like turn on the camera, film for an hour, two hours, and then you can like be done. Yeah. I think it's going to be fun. I miss those old videos. And I do see comments of people like saying like, I miss like old Samantha Joe videos. Like that's what they were. I do too. I, I mean, didn't I, vlog very often. I didn't miss, I mean, we were best friends still at yeah. the time, but I did not miss a single one of your videos. Yeah. But now like you make videos that people love, but yeah, they're not my different. style. Yeah. This is so incredibly random, but obviously in Australia, like everything's reversed, right? Yeah. They're going into summer. But no spring. Do they associate pumpkins with like spring with April? Yeah. No. Oh. Like May. What do you mean? Like April, May. Because that's their fall. That's their autumn. Like their autumn is. Oh, yes. Sorry. Took me a second. Took my brain a second to catch up. Yeah. Oh, wait. This is a really stupid question. What? Yeah. No, no. That's stupid. I take it back. Never mind. I, I mean, yeah. Say, like they're Christmas. It's at the like, same time of year. It's just opposite. Wait. Like their Christmas is still in December. But that's their summer. So like Santa no, probably know, wears like a bikini. So, do they, but they don't call July and stuff summer. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Oh, no, no, no. That's their winter. Yeah. So yes. it's, they call it winter there. Yes. But. So they grew so up weird. the same way that like we consider like, I swear the day it becomes a burr month, like the day we're out of August and it's September, my heart just gets so happy because I love the holidays and like, I love the burr months and we associate that with fall, like the holidays, yeah. but they don't get that feeling around September. Like that's their like, Oh, we're going into like summer. Like they hear burr, they think summer yeah, or spring. I just, I don't know. But like being where I am, it is just like, there's no sense of holiday. Oh yeah. No. Same. Like it is just like, there's iguana. I walk out my door, yes. there's iguanas yeah. and it's misty yeah. <laughs> and 95 degrees. Yeah. I'm just like, Andrew has to send videos of iguanas to me for me to show my mom because my mom does not believe that I, there I are her iguanas. Now. Okay. Did she tell you? Iguanas? No. I texted her a couple days ago. It's hilarious. I went to the gas station. There were five iguanas all around me. I sent her the video. She doesn't believe that they like are a thing. She believes me now. Okay. She said it. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So th when they think of like pumpkins and stuff, they think of like April. Okay. Australia. Well, here's the thing. I think the climate might be different and they might not have pumpkins. Yeah. It's not in parts of Australia. That people live in? Or like the, well, I did not realize that most of Australia isn't inhabited. The middle is like. Yeah, it's a big ass country. Yeah, it's like Florida. Country. <laughs> country. And, and continent. continent. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't want to sound stupid. But, oh, wait, <laughs> but it must snow on the bottom half. Because it's closer to like, Ant oh. Interesting. Okay. I, yeah. We got to You're stop really brain fucking me. So I think, I think like April, they're thinking pumpkins. Do they get. Do they have pumpkins? But like, we should just text Georgia and Lily and ask. I know. I texted Georgia like last week. Yeah, I texted Lily. I love them. Me too. I really love them. I know. Ugh. If it wasn't like the thought of getting on a plane for that long, that just freaks me I out. Know. Other than that, like I would be on a flight to go see them. This is, I'm so sorry. This is so bad. Yeah. It tastes. I was excited when I heard that they changed that flavor. It was months ago. Because I can't drink, that's, it's an Alani, in case you're just listening, he's holding an Alani. I can't drink the Hawaiian shaved ice flavor because, I mean, I lived in Wisconsin at the time. I dry scooped it. So this was years and years and years ago. I dry scooped their pre-workout and then I threw it up. And anytime I throw something up, well, I guess 50-50, I can't consume it anymore. It's like that flavor makes me gag. And they changed it. And I was so excited. But now they made it taste like sunscreen. I... It's like coconutty. Yeah, I fear to say, I really fear to say, this tastes exactly like what no. the Mama V's. No. Gush okay, no, so guys. I ordered the Mama V's gushers and the sour ones that are all over TikTok. And this is a life lesson on natural selection. And to any kids not, listening. Know, it's normally me yelling at Sam for this stuff, but like they were so, they were expensive and like I just. I don't care. I waited days. Okay, so I got them and I'll insert the picture here. The, uh, this. The clear safety seal is broken. It's sliced. <laughs> Someone took a bite and then repackaged it up. And I opened it and it smells exactly, exactly like coconut sunscreen. Like strongly. And I ate. Well, yeah, I sent a text back essentially like being bummed for him because he can't eat them. Like, oh, like that sucks. Like you wait all the time. You don't get to have them. No, he ate them. I ate like three quarters at least. And then at, even after I told him like, you're absolutely crazy for eating them. He continued well, yeah. to eat more. They're still in my pantry. Like I'm still actively eating them. Well, I would maybe not. But the bottom is... I don't. I think I'm gonna have to throw them out because it's really sunscreeny, like really, really sunscreeny. But how? It's really. Did you like, get like a different flavor of gusher? No, no, it's the blue raspberry. But Sam, when I tell you, like, it's, maybe they just like scooped out. Maybe like those containers that they use are like old sunscreen containers. That okay? And so, they didn't rinse it out, and then the bottom would be worse because it, it, it smells as if it's a sunscreen container. 
not even washed out. Like that's how strongly it smells of sunscreen. Mama bees, I don't know what you're doing. And to me. the safety seal's broken. Uh, yeah, and yeah, mm -hmm. but they, they're delicious. I mean, I also had ordered them a long time ago, and they had come to my house, and they were fine. I just didn't like them. But Aunt Gerald liked them, and you liked the them. The worst part is I've I had them even be like I've ordered them. Before. Yeah, yeah, and you haven't had the problem. I so maybe you give them one more chance. Mm -hmm. Like they get. Fool me, or what? what is, how does that saying go? Fool like, me once, shame, shame on, on you. you. Fool me twice, shame, shame on, on me. me. Well, then I guess it's your fault the next time. Did you know? Get ready. Hold on to your seat. Air One is nowhere backwards. I guess. You didn't know that. Who did? Well, okay, good. But... That's got to, like, it's spelled so weird. It's meant to be nowhere backwards. Air One but is why? the most expensive grocery store in yeah, honestly, the United States, so actually. It's in, it's in LA. It's where all the celebrities go. It's like, uh, like an, an apple is like $10. We did a taste test once when we went there for, was, the, was it for the Barbie premiere or for the, like, shoot before? Yeah. Um, but Air One is nowhere backwards. But why? I don't know. You didn't, like, continue the research? No, uh, Jenna told me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I guess that makes a little bit more sense. I think I, th I assumed it was just like some rich person's last name. It sounds rich. Yeah. Erwan. Yes. But like. It's what? one of those stores that like, one, I would never go in by myself. I would just be scared of like the people that are in there. And two, it's just like, I'm sorry. I can't even justify going to Whole Foods most of the time because of how expensive it is. So it's like, it's just, that's so much worse than Whole Foods. I want to do a, like either a TikTok or a video or something of the best Whole Foods products. You should. Oh my God. You guys, listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. Go to Whole Foods, go to the bakery section and get their pre-made um, cookie dough, the brown butter chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh my God. They are the best chocolate chip cookies you will ever have. I saw somebody make a video talking about how good their pizza was and it made me think of you. And so I was like, oh, I think Andrew said like their pizza's good. Their pizza is the closest thing, if not better than some. New York pizza? Yeah, it's the closest thing to New York pizza. And I'm so happy I figured it out because I was actually in tears every day because Southern Florida Southern Florida pizza. has the worst pizza I have ever tasted. That's going to offend some people probably. I Look at me, stay offended. That is the worst pizza I have ever tasted in my entire life. But specifically, like I, I went up to um, Palm Beach where the Airbnb is. Well, the rental property, yeah. whatever. There was a good pizza place there, and that's yeah. only like 40 minutes north of me. But only. specifically, where I am, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, they, it is the worst pizza. Did you ever see if, what's his, oh, what's his name? David Portnoy or whatever, like went to anywhere over there? Yeah, I couldn't find. No? No, I couldn't find. He's That's how I found the place here that's decent. Yeah, he, he's from Miami. Well, he lives in Miami, so I don't know if he's went he to He does? Like, yeah. Oh. I don't know if he's went to like Fort Lauderdale because it's only 20 minutes away. I feel okay. or 30 minutes away. I feel like he like ventures either further uh -huh. or stays in Miami. Okay. Maybe he has. If you guys know if Dave Portnoy went to a pizza place in Fort Lauderdale, let me know because I mean, I have Whole Foods. It and it is so good. Yeah. Oh I'm going to have to try it one just, day. Oh my god. Like I guess I just don't go there. It's just I can't well, just Well, can you please it. come visit me? Yes. I told you that I wanted to and then I started peeing blood clots, which I didn't know was possible. It's fine now. Don't worry. I think. We're not going to tell them about the other thing. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Just know I'm compiling a list. Okay. I'm compiling a list of weird pregnancy symptoms that I just did not know. Like, I feel like people talk about the most basic pregnancy symptoms and like you expect it. Okay. Morning sickness. Okay. Most people know that it's not actually morning sickness. You're probably going to be sick all the time. Whatever. But there have been some strange things. Oh, we're not saying. No. No, not yet. I want to get a longer <laughs> list. I only have three that are like strange so far. I just, you guys need to know that I was, if, if I was too stunned to speak. <laughs> I just want to like talk about the shit no one talks about when it comes to it. But like I said, I want to like have a good, like well-rounded list. Maybe there's a reason no one talks about it. <laughs> well, but I thought I was crazy because of these things. And then I have found out that, no, that they're all normal. This Each one be, of them is normal. This could just be so funny because, like, obviously, like, Sam said, like, she wants to be a little more private with that stuff. When you hear this stuff. No, I do want to be private. Like, I, I really do. I'm going to do a much better job of, like, and I feel like even recently, I think, honestly, just, like, having time away, like, I've learned how much I value. Oh, like, people actually don't know anything going on in my life. And that's really nice. Yeah. 
That's always how it, I've been, kind of. Yeah, and when it but when it comes to like pregnancy, like that's very much about like me and my body. I will share things about it, like as I go throughout the process. It won't be the like I said, the only thing I talk about or share. But there are things like and there'll be things I'll keep to myself, obviously too. But broad things like that that I know can like help people. I don't know how bullet point number one is going to help anybody, but. Maybe you'll know that you're not like weird. Like it's normal. Like I've brought even like things that aren't on the list up to my doctor and they're like, yep, normal. Like, and, and it's just weird. <laughs> I could be so funny, but they don't know. Okay. And here's the thing is I didn't even come up with that. So like the first one on the list, like I think I had noticed it, but not really until <laughs> someone else told me about it. Hey friends, I want to take a second to talk about makeup routines. And if you're anything like me, you probably have a go-to look that you love, or maybe you're always on the hunt for something new to try. I love switching things up, whether it's going for a full glam look or keeping it simple and fresh, but even the best routines could use a little refresh now and then, right? That's why I'm excited to tell you about Thrive Cosmetics. You've probably seen their tubing mascara. It's the one in the turquoise tube that's been all over social media. And for a good reason, their products have thousands of five-star reviews and they're just as amazing as everybody says they are. So why do I love Thrive Cosmetics? For starters, their products are all about high performance, but they are also really good for you. They are 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and free from all of those nasty parabens, sulfates, and I'm not quite sure how to say this word, but flaflates, flaflates. You're probably smarter than me and you can figure it out. And the best part, every purchase supports a great cause. Thrive donates to organizations supporting cancer patients, survivors of domestic abuse, veterans, and much more. It's makeup that makes you feel good in more ways than one. And I have to tell you about their Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara because it has been a game changer for me. I've been using it for a while and honestly, I get asked all the time what mascara I'm wearing. This stuff makes your lashes look like extensions, no clumping, no flaking, no smudging. And it's got this orchid stem cell complex that actually helps your lashes look longer and healthier over time. Plus, it's super gentle, so it's great if you have sensitive eyes or wear contacts. And let me tell you, taking it off is a breeze. Just some warm water and a little wipe of your hands or a cloth and it comes right off. No black smudges or stains. It's super easy. So refresh your everyday look with Thrive Cosmetics, beauty that gives back. Right now, you can get an exclusive 20% off your first order at thrivecosmetics.com backslash sidetracked. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash sidetracked for 20% off your first order. In descriptive detail. Oh my, please, can we, like, when, when you're ready, can we talk about it on the podcast? Because it's going to be so fun. Yeah, no, for sure. But like I said, I just want to have a longer list. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm biting my tongue so hard. It's so funny. Um, keep you keep you guessing. Yeah, but I, like maybe comment if you've ever been pregnant. Like, what is the weirdest pregnancy sy- symptom you've ever had? They're not gonna go that deep. Imagine somebody says it. No, like I'm, the weird shit, you guys. I don't think anyone has the confidence. <laughs> yeah, be brave, be bold. A, okay, yeah, think, I'm gonna. If you're thinking like, no, that's that is too. Like, I don't want to hear about like, I had lots of discharge in my panties. Like my nipples were puffy. No, yeah, this no. is. Like we ra- random. If you think you are being too disgusting, offensive, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Just, you are not. Anyway, but here's the thing: is I can't quite literally do anything about it. Yeah, no. I'm not. No, you know that they don't even know what we're talking about. We're probably being annoying. But anyway, I think you know there's a huge shift from your early twenties to your late twenties, or even when you're thirty. There's a huge shift. Like it. When you, is late twenties? You're about to be there, sweetheart. What? I'm 25. You're turning 26 in a week. Yeah, but isn't that just mid-20s? Like 24, 25, 26 is mid. 27, 28, 29 is late. I think there's... 21, 22, 23 I think it's kind of like a Venn diagram. Like it's like early, late, and then in the... It's like you can call it mid I think I have one more year of like... Yeah, I'd say so. And then I'm late. I agree. Yeah. I think 27 is late. I mean, I've grown a shit ton since I was 20. Yeah. (laughs) You can change a lot. I have to say... Your house is spotless every time I come. Yeah. Well, my new thing is like for me and my mental, I have, I've told, talked about this my whole existence and it's something I've always known, but when you struggle with mental health, it can be really hard to like keep your space clean. And 
I've always been a make a mess, pick it up at the end of the week type of person. Like when it's a big mess and then it takes me two or three hours to clean the house. Um, and you're lucky if I do it once a week. Now I have a routine where every like afternoon I spend 45 minutes, 30 minutes vacuuming, wiping everything down, picking up all the extra clutter. Yeah. Just it's become such a part of my routine. Like I clean as I go, do the dishes. If I bake, like it's not a huge mess. Like I clean it all up as I go. And it took me a long time to transition into that. But it has helped me, my mental health so much. Living with someone who also like likes things to be neat has helped me in that a lot. Yeah. In that like regard. But also I just have a little bit more energy now than I did like the past couple months. But it is so like different because I see the mess and like it, that gives me anxiety now. But before I could just like exist in it and it was totally fine. No, anytime I come here now, like it's like spotless clean, candles burning, sink empty. Yeah. Like I don't know. I like keeping and it like she, that. Yeah, like she I just, try my best. I go through eras where it's like, okay, maybe this week I didn't clean as much as I could, or I'm a little bit more behind on laundry, but I have gotten in that part of my like routine and life down. And I think it's also because which, I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk about it as much, but I know once I have a kid, kids have toys. Like there's a lot of kids stuff that's going to be laying around. And what I won't do is have like a crazy messy house. Like I think it's going to be enough of an adjustment as like just like going from zero to one, like having a kid. So if I'm in that routine now of picking up every, at least every night or every day, then like it won't be overwhelming. Yeah, you are. Because by no means do you like, have you ever cleaned for me? Like No. So like. No, I do this every day. Yeah. yeah. So. It was actually nice because usually like when I get a text, like I text you like, let me know when you leave. That's such a habit for me because usually that's when I have to start rush cleaning my house if someone's like ever yeah. coming or something. But yesterday when you were coming over and you haven't been here in a few weeks, I was just like, oh, like I already cleaned the house. Like I don't have to do anything. Guys, I can sit and play Toontown until he gets here. It took me. Oh, when does it not? It, well, it, it seems like, cause like we complain about sometimes like it doesn't, we oh, just don't say sorry. anything about it. When I come here and it doesn't like take me long, like I don't say anything obviously, but I still think it's never taken you less than four and a half to five hours. At night when I come, when yeah. I come late. Yeah. So if I leave like oh. after traffic, I get here four hours yeah. easily. But how you leave like sometimes he's gone home, you guys. Uh, he's left here at like nine thirty or ten p.m. Yeah, and it takes like four. And he doesn't get home until like two thirty, three in the morning. Yeah, it it, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, yesterday it took me almost seven hours to get here. Also, if you have, I feel like I've said this in a couple of videos recently. Like, if you don't understand the weather in Florida, like if you plan on coming to Florida in the summer, no one does. As someone who did not grow up here. And you look at the weather forecast and you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be raining every single day on my trip. It's going to be nasty. It's not going to be pretty. And you're like stressed about it. Stop stressing. You're fine until 5 p.m. Yeah. Like it's talking about the crazy and they've been crazy recently. Thunderstorms that you get at night. Like the where where I live, it floods so bad. The bugs get so bad, but the rain and the lightning has been so oh, see, crazy. Oh, see, in the afternoon. Yeah, ours are like when like 5 6 7 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. It must have followed me. No, I think <laughs> it did. I was in it the entire time. Yeah. Fearing for my life getting tornado warnings. Yeah. Sitting in dead stop traffic lightning literally outlining my car. Yeah. <laughs> See, for some reason I don't stress about you in those situations cuz I remember that you grew up driving in New York. You can yeah. probably get through anything. Yeah. I don't know why. Like and especially now that you're not like as blind anymore. Uh-huh. I'm like, "Oh no, he's fine." Yeah, the, I I was always so scared to drive when it rained really bad. And, I, and then I realized it's because I was legally blind. Yes. I mean, I didn't understand that you couldn't see. I don't think for the first like couple years of our friendship when I was letting you drive me around. And then you made it quite clear to me what it looks like when you drive. And then I be started driving until he got contacts. Yeah, it was it was really bad. Yeah. I've and I didn't seen a lot of people talking about keratoconus yeah. on TikTok. It, but I didn't realize because my doctors didn't pick up that I had this disease. Yeah. And so I like didn't, I stopped like, I, you know, how often do you go to the eye doctor? Like when I don't, you're, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I think I've gone a couple of times, but I just thought like it was kind of normal. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realize how bad it was until I got these contacts and now it's like, you could see leaves on the trees. Like to me, it was just like, you could see a tree, but, and it was just like the top is green and the bottom yeah, is just it's a bit. stick. Yeah. But like, I didn't know you could see the leaves and branches. That's crazy. And I was driving. Yes. But I thought that was normal. No, it was concerning, but I didn't know about it. Yeah. I guess, if, I guess if that's what you're used to, it's probably not as bad, but it's still concerning as now like someone though, else on the road. Because now that I wear these, I am, I don't know how I even walked without them in. Oh yeah. It's like, I could not even tell who you were yeah. from here. Like crazy. 
And I lived my whole life like that until I was 30. Isn't that no. crazy? Yes, because the second, even I get like a tiniest bit of like an aura migraine or something and like the tiniest thing happens to my vision, like I get so nauseous. So like I often think about if your whole vision and it's just like fuzzy, like do you not just get nauseous the whole time or do you just get used to it eventually? Like it becomes normal. Well, you lived it, so. So for me, um, the, the disease happens in your 20s for everyone. Um, your kid, your childhood, you had normal vision? It, it was really, it's so forget everything you know. So I had normal vision, really good. And then around like fifth grade, I needed glasses. And then it went back to 2020. Oh. And then I didn't need glasses anymore. And then gradually at the beginning of my 20s, um, it started happening. And it just it was so gradual, I didn't realize. And it's a disease where um, if you don't catch it, you'll, it goes until you're completely yeah. blind. Yeah. And unfortunately, I didn't realize until pretty bad. I was like 30. And um, it only happens in your 20s and early 30s. So I caught it at the very end. So I, if I let it go, I would be completely blind. And um, there's no fixing it. You can't wear glasses. You can't wear contacts. And there's no surgery. Um, it's unfortunately a disease that there's no cure to. They said scientists but are... But they like stopped it, right? So they, they can stop the progression. They just can't get it back. Yeah, but it was really gross. Like I... I won't explain. It was really gross. I was awake for it. Hi, listeners. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about our sponsor, Gooder. You guys know we worked with them a lot already. Um, if you guys are looking for stylish and affordable sunglasses, you have to check them out. I am telling you. Gooder offers a range of sunglasses starting at just $25 a pair. And listen to me. They're not just any sunglasses. These are designed to stay on your face no matter what. This means no slipping, no bouncing, and all polarized lenses. You guys know I've already told you this so many times. Plus, they've got a one-year warranty and a 30-day free return policy. Ooh. Gooder has just released three new high-performance styles, and trust me, they are game changers. Whether you're hitting the trails or you're, you you know, you just want to look like the best athlete out there, even if you are more of a couch athlete like me, um, they've got something for you. They've got something for everybody. First up, the Bolt G. These are shades, well, these are shades that um, come with a ventilated wrap lens for a no-slip fit, keeping you in the zone with cool clear vision perfect for those who want to stay sharp during intense workouts like like me um then there is bug g these aerodynamic wrap around shades are all about next level performance with trendy oval shaped lenses if you want active shades that are as stylish as they are functional the bug g is calling your name finally we have the we have the astro g shield sunglasses which are out of this world get it astro g literally um with a fully adjustable nose piece no slip temple grips and an anti-fog coating these are perfect for anyone who believes that epic is <laughs> More than just a word. It's a, a lifestyle. So if you want to support this show and get yourself some amazing sunnies, head over to gooder.com slash sidetracked and use code sidetracked for free shipping. Remember, Gooder offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and a 100% satisfaction promise. So there's no risk in trying them out, guys. Again, that is gooder.com slash sidetracked and use code sidetracked for free shipping love you guys they have to do surgery on your eye while you're awake not like lasik like way worse no it's not lasik yeah, yeah it's <laughs> like they start by like while you're awake peeling the clear layer no. off your eye and like clamping it open it was really bad um anyway so yeah there's no cure for it um they said scientists are always working <laughs> On you know, every, yes on yeah everything. but um they did something called cross-linking where they're able to just stop it from getting worse yeah but like cross-linking is so like fickle like it, it i'll probably need it again eventually but oh, you can do it again i don't know i don't know oh. I, I just said that but like I, well like i don't know if i'll need but like no, yeah it might stop working yeah but then um after a while so it's called keratoconus because my eye is a cone shaped so that's why i can't use glasses or contacts because they wouldn't fit um it was able to flatten out my eye enough where i could get glass contacts and that's why i have to like formed like you can't just like go buy a new pair of glass contacts. and they're big they're like like i have to like put them like it's not normal contacts they're like big I have to like put them in every day and then I have a plunger to pull them out and they can shatter. Oh, they have shattered. I, I dropped, I dropped it and it shattered. They're each 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Also, you, you have to, you have to pick them up a certain way or else they shatter because they're so thin. Yeah. 
but they don't feel it. I'm used to it now. I don't, mm-hmm. I love them. I'm so grateful for them. I'm, no, at this point you've had them for so long that like, I forget that you can't see like without them. Like in the yeah. morning, if you haven't put them in. I do like, feel oh, myself getting blinder though. Unfortunately, I'm a little scared. Like, what do you, how often do you have checkups? I did every, I had to go every uh, two and a half months. Okay. But then I moved and I haven't been. So maybe over the holidays we can schedule an appointment. Yeah. Well, if I do wind up getting like a job, I'll have like full like That's health true. insurance and all That'd that. That would be really so, nice. What? That would be really nice. I'm a little stressed because I turned 26. When you guys are seeing this, I turned 26 in a week mostly because this is what, Monday? I yeah. think my birthday is the following Tuesday. Um, I turned 26 and if you guys don't know what that means, it means you don't get to be on your parents' insurance anymore. And I've been paying for my own insurance. Like I paid my mom and my dad for my insurance. Yeah. But- I don't have, I won't have my own plan. Now, because I live in Florida, my insurance covers literally jack shit. Like my OB, they sent me this like letter saying everything that my insurance doesn't cover, essentially nothing. It even said that like, if I get cancer while I'm pregnant, they will not cover my cancer treatment. I don't know why they cover nothing. And it, I had to pay the OB if I, they want to be my OB by the time I'm 28 weeks, I had to pay them like five or six, I forget how much it was, five or $6,000. And that's not including delivery. That's not include. It's just, it doesn't include sonograms. That it doesn't is. include labs. It doesn't include anything. And cause they don't cover anything. So I'll, it'll be good to get my own insurance. It'll actually hopefully like work down here. Um, but it's like such a stressful thing. Like, what do you mean I have to get my, how do I do that? Uh, and you can only get it once a year, like during open I, season. That's why I said, I just turned away. I said, oh, I, don't, I don't have insurance. It is what it is. Hopefully I don't get sick. Well, yeah, I just simply cannot pay for a hospital stay out of my pocket giving birth. I think it's like $30,000. No, maybe it's not that bad. No, I, I think it is. I'm getting stressed. We got to stop talking about it. No, so, I know. have you seen, <laughs> I'm actually getting anxiety. Have you seen, we're going to catch up on a few things we missed. So, you know, some things might be old. Okay. I don't know what her name is. Hallie and Sophia. Yeah. It's so <laughs> drug out. It's drug out. Yes. Uh, yeah. So my thing is everyone is like, oh, like the redhead, whatever. Yes. But like, she kind of makes me laugh. Oh, I think everyone, like if you look at her comment section, it is like people like laughing at. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, have it's they just, turned? Because everyone hated her last Well, no, it's not that they like her, I don't think. Like, it's just, so like, I don't, I just, to me, it's one of those things. It's just like, it doesn't need to be that deep. It's not. It's not. That's and I'm someone who I don't do drama. So yeah. it's just like. If that was me in my life, I just don't know why, like why you're bringing it up now when this happened in January or whatever. Like, why is this being resurfaced? Like, and I get like, it it gets you attention on the internet, but they always say like in this industry, like any press is good press. Like, and that just is not a really, Mm -mm. as I asked you earlier, because I was going to ask you the yoga and I was like, how's your back? Yeah. Um, but like they say, any press is good, is good press. I just don't know how people deal with that. And if I was her, if I was the redheaded girl or whatever, like I couldn't. No. And she's being, she's, uh, first of all, I didn't, I saw she's her. She's trolling with it at this I point. I saw her videos first. So like, I didn't know Hallie. So Hallie, Haley, Hallie, whatever mm-hmm. her name is, seems really sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, she does seem really sweet, but her like villain vi- videos are, they're making well, she's me doing laugh. a great job and of like, being a villain. Like, for sure. Let's look, let's, let's look at the big picture. Like, let's look at what bad people there are in the world. Like, oh Yes. Not saying she's a good person, but like no, she's like she's okay with that role of being the villain, and it's getting her the attention or whatever. I just if there's something about like girls that I just and I I mean I, I am one that I just don't get is like I mean it's not even just girls like it's anybody. It's just like that just seems like such unnecessary drama. Yeah, like she, like I look like at it her, doesn't need to be like, on the internet. That's someone I would never be friends with just because yeah. we are so. Like, I would just have anxiety, drama free. But oh my god, some of her videos crack me up. Yes. Did you see her crying one? Yes. And like everyone's like, this is crazy. And I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah. But no, she's, it, she knows her role right now is the villain and she's TikTok. playing the it's role. It's so yeah. unserious. Yeah. Like there are people like killing people. Yeah. I will say like Hallie, I think I saw that she, um, cause she had, she's been like not making a ton of videos, like speaking back to it or whatever. I think I put something here now. I always just think like, you're going to say it's like going to boil or something. Um, <laughs> after the <laughs> protein you have shake. Drama for me. Yes. A little bit. Um, she had like posted that she was like doesn't want the money that she's making oh, from that- the video. So she's like bought a bunch of stuff off like all these teachers lists. And I thought that was nice of her. Yeah, me but- and Jenna. Um, if, I, if I keep referencing Jenna, that's my brother's girlfriend. We're like best friends now. But we were um, she's very in like this space with things. Mm-hmm. So 
we like made a joke like we would say like where Sophia's number one stands like as a joke because we're not like we know like she's shitty but like it's funny um but like we sent Hallie or Haley's video and we were like she is eating oh yeah there's a difference between being like when people are trolling and they're doing a good job of trolling like yeah you're it's it is entertaining but it I just often like I know that like in real life like I just hope that these people aren't actually like that in real life and then, like, some of that stuff can just, like, stay I guess off it's, the like, internet. a parasocial thing. Like, people cancel because they feel really connected to someone. I don't have that parasocial thing. No, I don't either. Thing. So, like, when I watch someone, it's purely to entertain me while I'm showering. Yes. While I'm getting ready. Oh, yeah. Well, I use it to fill... Because if it's quiet, my brain is same. really mean to myself. So, it's, like, I just fill the empty sound. I just take people for what I see in their video. Yeah. And I don't I hold them to any standards. Yes. I don't think they're any better than me. Like, yeah. They just are noise for me. No, especially like being in this space, you know, that at the end of the day, like we're all just people. Yeah. I just often wonder how people can exist. I mean, I know I'm a sensitive person, but like how people can exist knowing that they're actively trying to create that negative space yeah, around them in their like, life. And like, I get the situation. Like you went on a date with her ex-boyfriend and you've been in this, you've been running in the same friend group, like that kind of breaks girl code, but like that can just, it's not deep enough that it needed to come to the internet. Yeah. Like it could have been, been stayed offline. For anyone who wants to know what we're talking about, it's uh, the Sophia Lacourt and Hallie. If you type that in on TikTok, you'll see it. I'm yeah. sure most of you know, but if you don't, long story short, there's a redhead and a blonde. I'll just reference them that way. Blonde had a boyfriend, broke up. Redhead was friends with the blonde friends. I guess that's like, that's up they were in the both air. Influen- New York influencers. They'd be at events together. They'd they talked before they would drink together sometimes. Yeah. The redhead wound up like the blonde was crying to the redhead about her breakup. The redhead wound up like going on Instagram, him. finding him going on a date with him while at the event that she's crying about her boyfriend. Yeah. Um, apparently like she proved that wrong, but still oh, it's okay. weird either way. Yeah. I haven't followed it too close. I've and only seen like a couple random videos. She here went on dates with him. Then the blonde texted her and said, Hey, like I think it was literally one date. Yeah, at first, when she found out, and then they went on more. But paparazzi saw them. I think just, like, people saw them. I don't know if it was paparazzi. I mean, at this point, anyone with a phone could be a paparazzi. Exactly. So people saw them, let the blonde know. The blonde texted the redhead, was like, hey, were you on a date with my boyfriend? Like, or something like that. And it just escalated from there. Then who was making videos and... Mind you, but this was eight months ago. November. I think it was November. Oh, I thought it was January. It became an issue in January, like, publicly. Okay. I think so. So... But now, yeah, so it was dormant. But uh, back then when it when the blonde posted videos, blonde is Haley or Hallie. I just, I'm calling them that because I don't know how to pronounce. But when she posted videos, there was a huge hate campaign toward Sophia, the redhead. So whatever, it went dormant. And now all of a sudden- She brings it back up on like, the Brad redhead Mondo. posts a get ready with me. And she's like, part one of telling well, the story- she talked about it on, she's on a podcast with Brian Mondo because oh. they've also been there. They were in a relationship. Because he has like, I think hair straightening products. So he's acting straight. Oh. He's not actually straight. It's like an act. So I think. But he's like going to his grave saying like they were actually in a relationship. Well, that's like the. Oh. He I don't get it. He's gayer than. Well, I would assume, but I don't that know. That man is not straight. I'm so I've sorry. seen stranger things I think it's a campaign for his hair shirt and product. Okay. But I think that's where like it was talked about. And then because people were starting to talk about it, then she made the get ready with me videos. Yeah. So, and she was like, part one, I'm telling the story of how I got canceled off the internet for going on a date with a guy. And, and then it has spiraled since then. And then like everyone blew it up and was like, this is weird. And then she posts, she's like, the next day, she immediately made me laugh. She was like, oh my, in this exact tone, she's like, oh my God, you guys are acting like I kicked someone's puppy. I just don't know <laughs> how people can... I'm just such a people pleaser and like I hate not, upsetting but... anybody. So to like actively try to upset somebody is crazy. I would never actively try. I would never. But like she's actively trying and that's why I'm laughing. I'm like, you don't care that everyone hates you. No. That, it, I find it funny yeah. to watch. I would never want to be friends with her. But that that energy, it's not even like I, you could be a good person or whatever off camera. People like do stupid things. It doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. But that like energy and the, that kind of stuff happening is what has kept me from trying to form a girl, like a friend of girl, yeah. like girl group of friends. I will and tell I just you, keep to myself. A group of friends never works. No, yeah. There's always, there's always like people that get closer than the others. And I was like, I don't really care. I'm too low maintenance. Yeah. But. Andrew, since he got here the other day, or yesterday, has said like 19 times when I've like talked about things, about how like, wait, do people just like not know you? Because no, <laughs> like, I know you pretty well, I think. Do they just not know to like, like, 
to le- like leave you alone or like not to ask to like hang out 24 seven. Cause like I've like obviously beginning of our friendship, we had like not issues, but like yeah, I would get upset. Learning if curves, you, so but, learning like, each other. We know each other so well now. Yeah. Like you know to use an exclamation point yes. here and there. Yes. And I know to, I've to be more expressive. I know to just not text if, you if I don't have anything to say. Or like if I don't answer, it doesn't mean that I don't like yeah. care. Like I don't, I'm mad at you or anything. Yeah. We have gotten to a point in our friendship which it's hard to get to that point with people, I think. Like, it does take a long time to where I don't, you don't really, you don't drain my social battery because you will sit there on your phone while I sit on mine. Yeah, we've You been, will sit there while I build Legos or play Toon Town, like, or do something. I've been here for an entire day where we hardly saw each other. Yeah. Like, I was upstairs. Yeah. And I think we're both really low. Me- aside, like, once I learned, like, years ago that, like, I don't, you're not mad at me when you don't answer yeah. and I don't keep texting you. Yeah. I think we're just both really low maintenance. Yeah. Like, and I just think that, I mean, I, this is going to sound cringy. I don't, I don't, I forget the saying of like, what, like, bl- blood isn't thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Well, I think that's for but like your family. Counter. So it's just like, I, I genuinely would consider you family yeah. at this point. Like, I don't think you have to be blood related to, to have people be your family. No, I mean. Like, that, there's not like much that you could do that. I can't think of anything that I wouldn't. There's, it's like the, I keep hitting that. It's like, we are. Not only best friends, I we work together. We have a business together. Yeah. Aside from me just editing for you, we have this together. It's also weird that that doesn't break friendships alone apart, and it hasn't. But that's because we're both so, like, if th- some things annoy you or things annoy me, it's just like I'm annoyed with you. Yeah. You're annoyed with me. Yeah. It doesn't mean like I can't be friends with but her. But we don't fight. No. I and I also people think, think we do, but we I was, don't. Yeah. No, we really, really don't. I think by our energy on here, like it's that's our banter. Like, yeah. But, but ban- that's why we don't fight because if you're annoying me, I'm like. You're such an annoying bitch. Oh, like, yeah. That's a, maybe why therapists always say, like, if a couple doesn't fight or, like, you like have a relationship with someone, friendship, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, and you never have a single argument, like, you're just not being genuine. And then when you probably do have an argument, it's going to be really bad because you've kept all of those, like, little things to yourself versus, like, when you know that someone loves you and you love them and, like, your relationship is stronger than if something you're doing is annoying me and I tell you that it's annoying me, like that shouldn't be, and like you can do it in a respectful way, but that shouldn't break up your friendship or your relationship. Yeah. You should be comfortable enough to be able to express your feelings. And so I feel like we just don't let things get big. Yeah. It's just At like, all. Andrew, shut the fuck up. Like you're annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think. As I just said, be respectful. I'm like, shut is, the fuck up. I don't, oh, with you, I get it. Yeah. I, some people would genuinely get offended by shut the fuck up. I feel like you get more offended when I'm polite versus if I just yeah, tell it, you how it is. Yeah, because it's just fake. <laughs> Like, I know you're a bitch deep down. That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this is more of a chill episode where we just catch up a little bit and get back into the swing of things. And I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game, right? And, and yeah, so you're you're testing me on pregnancy facts. Is that what it is? I is think a fact? so. Because I'm assuming you don't know much about pregnancy. I don't. But I, I mean, don't unless either. they think I'm really dumb, because um, we had the help of our producers with this. So I, if they think I'm really dumb, like. I, I think you might get some of these. I hope. There are some of, like, a couple where I wouldn't know the answer to, but maybe you can, like, guess. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't think they're that bad. But, okay. Let's get into it. Question number one. How long does a typical pregnancy last from conception to birth? Conception to birth. hmm Okay, well, I think you told me this yesterday. I would hope you were listening. 40 weeks. Yes. Yeah. Everyone says nine months. And this even does say, which is roughly nine months, but people don't, I think people, when I I hear nine months, I think that you get to the ninth month and then you give birth, but you're pregnant for like, you start your 10th month. Yeah. If you go full term, 40 weeks, a lot of people that I see, especially with like your first baby, it's like 41 I wouldn't, I, if you didn't tell me this yesterday, I wouldn't have got that. So I, I'm trying to think, channel like Andrew from 24 hours ago. Like what? Well, I, it's okay. What's called educating. Yeah. I think I would have said 35 weeks. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. But like that would have been a random guess. Yeah, I think I've heard like that the, you they want the baby to stay in. Let me make sure this isn't a qu- <laughs> isn't on there. Okay, yeah, they want the baby to stay in, obviously as long as they need to. But the last thing that forms or like finishes forming, I think, is their lungs. I stayed in an extra month. That's nowadays. I don't think they'd let that happen. Yeah, no, they wouldn't. Yeah, like I, I, I stayed- think they start inducing around like forty one or two. My due date was October third. I was born October twenty sixth. Yeah, that's crazy. I, never no i get out of me i'm sorry i can only imagine especially like i've lost like 100 pounds i've i'm 16 weeks pregnant i've only gained three pounds somehow and 
so I, I at first I was like, oh, I maybe I won't be miserable at nine months, ten months pregnant because I know what it's like to be a hundred pounds heavier. Yeah. But the tiniest changes that are happening, I'm noticing so much faster because now I I hadn't been this small and I'm not small. Let me just put that out there, but I hadn't been this weight since high school. Yeah. So I had forgotten what it feels like to have your body work right. Mm-hmm. And so now like any little thing, I'm like, oh no, like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be miserable. Also fat doesn't necessarily push all of your organs up and kick you mm. and That's give true. you heartburn. That's I couldn't imagine killing that. Anyway, okay. sorry, What's distracted. What is the first organ to form in a developing baby? Organ? Yes. The heart. Yeah. Really? Yes. The heart. It starts be- beating around the sixth week of pregnancy. Like when I found out, they couldn't tell me if it was alive. I'm getting excited. Yeah. You're like, your feet start little, doing a little dance. Okay. 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 Hey, this, you really, I complained a lot. So you better fucking know the answer to this. Okay. What is morning sickness and when does it usually occur? And you get a bonus point. 3 p.m. <laughs> no, you get a bonus point if you can say what causes it. Why you get sick. Because I did not know why. Okay. So what's the actual question? Pregnant. What is morning sickness? So let's start there. What is it? It's when you get sick, like uh, from your pregnancy in the first trimester usually. Uh huh. Okay. And when does it usually occur? In the first trimester. No. Um, like time of day. Well, they say morning, but afternoon. For you, 3 p.m. Okay, yes. But typically like at any time of the day or all day long. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But that's still good. So do you want to try the extra point of why? Something with the baby's taking something from you, right? No. Oh, okay. Yes. Then um, it's because it's. Watch me be wrong. I'm trying to like put my own knowledge. It's in your here. organ shifting. No. Then why? It's your the, like the HCG level. I don't know what that is. In your blood. I thought I was gonna be shocked. It's like I think HCG is a hormone or something. Okay. Well. It's how they can like tell like in the beginning if you're pregnant because it's like double it should double or whatever if it's like. A, it was you being sick and well. how your life is changing. <laughs> no. So like your body isn't used to having that high level of HCG. So like it makes you nauseous. Okay. I guess. You guys can come for me if I'm wrong. Um, but that's what I was told by my doctor. So how many points do I have? You've gotten... Be, I'm going to give you all three. Don't be generous. Be like strict. Well, I mean, it can occur any time of the day. And I feel like you said, like it, they say it's morning, but it can be like 3 p.m. Well, yeah, because you were very like... Yeah, mine was very much night. Like I was fine in the morning. I'm going to be a little nauseous, but... I, it got really bad in the afternoon and at night and like all food was repulsive. Um, and they, or nowadays I'm fine as long as I have eight. So like I just have to have like a small like snack or meal every like couple of hours and I'll be okay. Um, okay. Question number four, what is the name of the fluid that surrounds and protects the baby in the womb? The fluid? Yeah. I feel like this is, I knew this before getting pregnant, but I'm, I'm a, I'm a woman. So the I, fluid? Yeah, like inside of it. Is so it, like the baby's in your uterus, inside of your placenta. What? Or maybe it's not inside of your placenta. It's not inside of your placenta. But the placenta is like feeding or whatever. Isn't the placenta so like, on the wall? Yes. Okay. I believe so. Because like when it comes off, it like leaves okay, a big wound do, in there. Is this fluid? Like, do I know the name of it? You've definitely heard this term before. Something fluid. I, yeah. I'd be shocked if you actually It's called had something it. fluid, right? Yeah. If you haven't heard of it. I Embryotic would, fluid. You're, you have the right, like the phonics are there. I don't know if that's how you say that. Like you're like the. Syllables? Yes, but. Just stop. Okay. The. <laughs> you're like, it sounds right, but it's not. I don't know. What is it? Ambiotic. Fluid. Oh, embryotic, ambiotic. I was so, okay. You could have just said you're extremely close. Yeah. It's I just, wouldn't have gotten it. I was trying to help. Yeah. Sorry. So, but one wrong out of four so far is yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they could call it embryotic fluid. I mean, no. they're just trying to be difficult. Okay. <laughs> what is a common sign that labor is about to start? Well, the water breaks. Yeah. Well, duh. But actually, I've learned a lot because obviously in movies, that's how like every woman, like their water just yeah. starts like, spewing everywhere. A lot of people don't have their water break naturally. Yeah. And like the doctor has to break, to break it. it. Yeah. Like you'll go in, you'll have like a bunch of your contractions, but your water hasn't been broke. So I guess there's probably a bunch of different answers for that. But that is what they have here. So, and... Your water breaking is your amniotic sac rupturing. That it's I know. all that fluid's coming out. That's disgusting. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. Um, 
What is the thing that provides oxygen and nutrients to the baby and removes waste products from the baby's blood? The placenta. Yeah, I didn't know that. How many trimesters are in a pregnancy and what are they called? Three. The first, second, and third? Yeah, that's... <laughs> is that what it... You extra points if you know what the weeks are? The weeks? What do you mean? Like, first trimester, what weeks are those? The f- oh, like one through... Yeah, what number? Well, four... Oh, because that's 40 isn't about... Okay. Um... Okay, well, 12. Yep. First one is 12. Mm -hmm. The second one is to 28. No. Six. Oh, I was close. Okay. And then 27 to 40. But I I mean, I didn't know what I was guessing, so. No, you're fine. That's also not, that wasn't like, that was just for extra. You could have just made up for your one wrong, you know? What is the term for a baby born before 37 weeks of pregnancy? Premature. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are easy. I know. Um... What is Braxton Hicks? What? What is Braxton Hicks? A country singer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that has it to sounds be a- like one. Braxton Hicks? Yes. Oh. I, all I can think about is country music now. I don't know. Uh, okay. So Braxton Hicks. It's yeah. a disease, surely. Or a condition. Braxton Hicks. Okay. Is that your final answer? No. Okay. It's when... I don't know. They're like practice contractions that your body starts oh. having. Why would they call it that? I don't know. That Man, sounds like a country Maybe singer. that's like the scientists who came up with it. I don't know why they call it that. But it starts like either like it can be that is any good, time like in the second or third. That is a good name. You should write that down. Braxton. Braxton Hicks. H-I-X. You know how made fun of they would get? I guess. If your name is Braxton. I get, everyone, that, that I also know because people complain about Braxton Hicks a lot. Oh. Okay. And like... People will think they're going into labor and they're not. Okay. Next. Okay. So you, you're you at, that was the ninth question. You're at, so you're seven out of nine. Not bad. Not bad. What hormone is detected by home pregnancy tests to confirm pregnancy? Hormone? Estrogen? Mm-mm. Testosterone? No. Those are the only hormones I know. Okay. Good. HCG. Oh, I don't know. I, don't I, know I, I accidentally told you that earlier. Uh Okay. At least you didn't retain <laughs> I'm it. I'm sure I heard it a lot. I okay. Just... We're seven for 10. Still pretty good in yeah, my 70%. opinion. Seventy percent. Okay. Not great. But... What is the purpose of the umbilical cord? Oh, isn't that provides nutrients. So from where to where? From you to the baby. From the placenta to the baby. Yes. Yeah. Number 12, the last and final question. You are not going to get this right. I wouldn't. That's so rude. I think I know this. I know the word, but... Under pressure? Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. I don't feel pressure. What is the term for the surgical procedure where an incision is made to widen the vaginal opening during childbirth? I've definitely heard it, but like I, I would, I would sit there and be like, uh, I don't know. Like where they snip, like to yeah. make it. Where they cut it. I hope I don't have to have one. Oh, I know the word too. Me too. I knew, I know oh, it, but I've under pressure, it. I wouldn't okay, be able to. Episiotomy. Oh fu- no, I don't know if oh. I've ever heard that. <laughs> I, I've heard it only because I was probably scared. Oh my god! Why do you have to do that? We well, don't have to. Well, some people do. They don't do it by choice. Well, it's because <laughs> actually there are there are. I think you can ask for that because some people believe that it like heals better than like tearing naturally. Oh, I or can't. you can like do it so you don't tear as bad if you get a little bit I, of an episiotomy. No, you know how queasy I am. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I am the most queasy person. I can't even think about blood. <laughs> I mean, I will say when I was getting my blood work done yesterday, I don't mind the poke or I don't think it's like the pain is fine, but like, you know, you don't mind the poke. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Wait, what do you mean? You got poked and now you're pregnant. I don't but- know if poke is the word I would. <laughs> Jab. <laughs> okay. Um, I had to like stare at the wall and I was like, just, you know, I'm fine. I just like, I absolutely can't look at it. I really thought I was going to be a doctor. Absolutely not. Um, blood makes me weird. So does pulses. Pulses. Yeah. I can't, I feel, a, I can't handle feeling my pulse. If I'm laying and I can feel my pulse, I got to move. Hmm. Like if I can hear someone's heartbeat, I gotta go. The only person, gotta go. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the only person, like I can lay on Gerald's chest and like hear his heartbeat, and Cute. that doesn't make me sick. Or my bother dogs, me. I, I like, I like laying on my dog. They, they probably are suffering because they're small. Yeah, they don't like it. But I lay on them and I hear their heartbeat. So Aww, cute. that is cute. You never do that? No. You should try that. Duncan's Duncan girthy. Kill me if what? I try to use him as a pillow. Oh, my dogs love it. He would you know simply not have it. Yeah. I have the most cuddly dogs on the face of this planet. Yeah. It's actually it's insane. I. They they do love to cuddle. Duncan will cuddle you, but not like with you putting pressure on him. Oh my god! He gosh. has to be like 
up in you. I'm sleeping and my dogs come and they put their neck over my neck. So their face is just here. Couldn't like, sleep like that. Oh, and I just pet them like that. Like cats. Oh, they're just, I'm obsessed. Yeah. I mean, I want to die agree. before my dogs. Yeah. I really do. I saw this girl posting, like she posted a TikTok and she was saying like, y'all are coming for me for saying that like, she didn't say that she doesn't, I don't remember the original TikTok or if she said she doesn't, she essentially just said like, she would see now I shouldn't talk about shit that I don't exactly know moral of the story her kids like her save her kids like before her dog like doesn't care necessarily as much about her dog's life anymore now that she has kids like she doesn't view them the same way that she used to or I don't know yeah something like that and people were giving her hate for it so she made another video in response being like y'all are acting like you guys are saying you would die for your dogs but like you wouldn't actually in giving the circumstance and then this girl stitched the video with headline after headline after headline of like person jumps into toxic like thing like thing to save their dog dies like and it's just all people dying for their dogs and they're like no we would die for our dogs no i, I like, 100% would yes she's would like you? saying like you would never die yeah i would 100% yeah oh or like God. man dies in how like house fire getting his I dog mean, out not even especially house fire because we talked about that yes oh, i'm going in <laughs> yeah i yeah I'll, I'll die getting him out oh my gosh just yeah um I will like launch him out the window if I can't go down the stairs yeah. and you, you can survive their break your broken legs. Yeah. But you're not dying. No, hell no. Oh my God. It, it is like not even a question yeah. in my mind. Mm -hmm. But, um, okay. So what did I get? Well, you got eight out of 12. What? How did that, how did it get to that point? What do you mean? That's so sad. As a gay man, I think that's pretty good. I feel like I should know more as a gay man. Why? Because like I'm more in tune with the women. Well, sure. But it's not like you've accidentally ended up in a situation where your girlfriend's pregnant. Yeah. I've actually never and had to think to, about like, pay pregnancy. Attention. <laughs> I've never had to think about pregnancy. No. That's crazy. I love sitting in these chairs and you guys like love these chairs and you're always asking us where we get these chairs from. Okay, you can't can sit in that? them for too long. Well, they're just from Kane's furniture you guys, like, store. They are from, you can't get them essentially. Well, I mean, if you live he in Florida, I guess yeah. you could. If they still have them, I'm sure yeah, they do. Yeah, but if but. they're from a store called, can do you have a Raisin Cane's around here? Yeah. Can, can we go? Um, I know let me like just it. double check. But no, I hate Raisin Cane's. Yeah, but can we go just for me? <laughs> and we can go somewhere for you. Raising. It's way too far. Oh. Sorry. That's devastating. Yeah, it's in Largo and Clearwater. So. Oh. That ain't happening. That is, okay, so you don't have one near you. No, but it's kind of on, to be quite honest with you, you could go like the tiniest bit out of the way on your way home. And no, I can't. <laughs> no, I and cannot. And you would make it. It's already over four hours. That's facts. Uh, did you say facts? Yeah. Okay. What? What's your problem? No, there's no problem. <laughs> there's no problem. Then why did you reiterate it? I just was asking what you said. What did you think I said? I don't know. I bet that you said facts, so I really wanted to say no printer, but I was like just wondering, but then it was too late for me to say no printer. Okay. That was so cringy, that whole yeah. thing. <laughs> yes, it was. What, if you could be any character, like if you could make a character for Inside Out, the movie. This is like a, one I had from a while ago, but what would you be? Like I got to, I have to be one of them? Yeah. Depends on the day. Yeah. You have, but no, no, you have to make one up. Like you have to make. Oh, one. like it. there already is an anxiety. Yeah, <laughs> and, but I don't think I'm like. We, we were definitely different. Like, there's different types of anxieties. Maybe I'll be like crippling anxiety. I, what did you call it? No, you didn't call it that. Yeah, you did. No, what? you didn't. Agoraphobia. Yeah, yeah. I'll be that. I, I really, yeah, same. I mean, I told you, I feel like I think yeah. I have agoraphobia. Yeah. Where you don't leave your apartment mm -hmm. or house. Yeah. No, like I was telling you, like other than doctor's appointments, I have, I've had to like force myself out of my house. I think we'd be. It'll go days. And I'm like, oh wait, you haven't done it. I mean, you've done stuff. Like you've worked from like inside your house and like what you've done house stuff or whatever. But like, say I'm like, you can go somewhere on your own. You don't need Gerald to go with you. Yeah, see, I'm like, like you, during but the 10 day. times worse. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've also been actively forcing myself. Like. I really did like extreme like exposure therapy for like literally like a year straight. So like I've gotten a little bit past it, but it's gotten a little bit, it's gotten bad again. Like yeah. if I go out to eat, I get really bad panic attacks. If There's I also, like a difference. Cause like, obviously I'm turning 32 next month. So like I was the person, everyone knew me as the person who was never home. I was always out my whole life. And so I think Maybe it's just not agoraphobia. Maybe I'm just getting older. Yeah. And like I don't, but I mean, but I, I think could there's also like things like anxiety things. Like I could leave to go get a coffee, which I don't. Like yeah. I don't leave my apartment. Yeah. And we live places where it's like 
there's so much life here. Yeah. <laughs> like I see people like that live in the same area, like posting like their vlogs and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, I, like you were just saying this. You're like, I forget that like I can just like go do those things. Yeah. Like, like I have like, I live there too. It was weird because I have been like, I, I, on the weekend, obviously Zach's home. So we go out and we do things. But like being yeah, home same. during the week when Zach's at work, he works yeah. till 10 p.m. sometimes, like most of the time. I'm alone and I the other day I went and I got my eyebrows done I got a coffee and I went to the supermarket and I realized that was the first time I left my apartment during the week without Zach in about a year Mm -hmm. aside from coming to you yeah I have not left my apartment in a year other than the weekend with Zach Mm -hmm. and I was like I forgot free will is a thing yeah like I could just I could go I forget that like I can do for myself the things that I do for other people Mm -hmm. like I want to make sure everyone else like when they see me or I see them like has a good time like I don't want you to be bored like I want to take you places and like you have you see things but I forget that like I should be doing like giving myself that same life experience like caring about like filling my time the same way and like I've been good about like not just sitting around the house as much like I said I have been keeping things cleaned and like baking things which sounds so stupid but um we do need to like force each other to get better about like Oh, what did you do like to leave the house this week or yeah. today? Like whatever. We do. And I think having a routine helps that too. Something that I gotten a lot better with, which this sounds like a step back, but it's a step forward for me. Um, cause you know how for a few years I got so wrapped up in work. Like I was always working yeah. like just nonstop. So obviously like you've been posting less, there's yeah. been like less work and stuff. So I got a lot better with like playing video games, which oh, is yeah. something I have always loved. So bring, like, yeah, it makes you happy. Like, and so like want? now every night, even if it's just for like 30 minutes, mm-hmm. I play video games with my brother and Jenna. Mm-hmm every night sometimes it's for hours you know when but sometimes it's just even for 30 minutes and it's it's obviously living away from my brother i'm very close with my brother and jenna so it's a really good way to just hang out with them yeah yeah and oh my god it's just i love video games so much we might that we might i mean they say it and i'm just like yeah yeah but like i would like to start streaming yeah i think you'd be really good at that and like you just are funny like witty and funny and i think just like having like we talked about earlier just like life schedules like helps anxiety in general so much it's like you don't have to think about like oh this is what I should be doing this is what I should be doing like I got a fresh I thought I had a planner for this year but I didn't like it's like a to-do list planner and I so I just got like a new one so I can start like writing it down every day like just scheduling out your day at me maybe after a while you don't have to like literally write it down but it does like really help like structure it out and so you don't have to think it's like oh like I said I was doing this at yeah. 11. I'm going to go do it. Or I said I was doing this and you don't have to like overwhelm yourself or give yourself too much, but it's especially like working from home. you got to have some type of like structure. And so like when you, before, like I'm sure that you know that we've talked about how you felt the same way. It's like letting yourself do those little things that make you happy, like playing video games. You like, t- in order to not have anxiety about like, oh, I should be doing something else, but I'm playing video games. It's like, well, that voice in my head is wrong because I did everything on my list for today. Yeah. Like this, I lauded this. <laughs> I put this in my schedule that oh, I'm going to get to play for, from this time on or whatever. Yeah. And it just, it helps a lot. It so does. Hopefully we get back to that. I think we will. I, I, I see a big shift for both of us yeah. <laughs> in the future for the inside out character. Yeah. I think we would be delusion. We or you? It depends on the day. That's true. I guess. Are you saying that you're not delusional and only I am? Name... What am I delusional about? I think it depends on the day, the situation. I think we could be delusional. Like when we're like, oh, we're going to start making a schedule. No, but like we will. (laughs) What do you mean? But I've done it for so long. I just haven't been good about it the past like four months. Yeah. Okay. I would be delusion. So what are you? Agoraphobia? (laughs) Yeah. I have really bad anxieties, but like, I don't want to take anxiety because like she already has it. Maybe like, you got to stop shaking your legs. I have to pee too. I don't have to pee. Oh. <laughs> um, what is the word? I'm definitely delusion. I'm, I'm really bad with like procrastination. If I didn't procrastinate, I wouldn't have anxiety, but that comes back to just having a schedule. I don't know. You're putting me under pressure. No, you picked one. Agoraphobia. But is that a feeling or a disease? I think it's like a mental illness. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I'm del- I but so is delusion. Yeah. I'm delusional. I don't care. They changed the alphabet song. Oh, that I knew. What? Yeah. What? See, you don't tell me things. Well, I mean, it just didn't seem that. It made sense. It's, it does make sense. Like It's easier for kids to say. It is easier. Yeah. It, it's A, B, P, it just- C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, no, what, what is it? I don't know. No, okay. I so, heard it once in okay. a TikTok. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, 
L M N O P Q R S T W X. Did I forget a letter? I don't know because it's different now. But yeah, it's like that instead of L M N. And there's no and yeah. between Z. Why it's not Y and Z. There's no and because yeah. that's confusing to kids. It makes sense why they changed it. It just feels wrong, but it makes sense. I used to say Elmo. Oh. Elmo P. L M N O P. I, I swear to you, I could, I'm delusional. I might have made that up just now. What? That I used to say Elmo. No, I could see that. Elemental P. Th- that's, but that's my thing. Like, I could see me thinking that. I don't know if I actually did. Well, it's, I mean, clearly enough people had that issue that they changed the song. Well, Elmo. Yeah, Elemental P. I, I could guess. see, I mean, kids will say, like, you'll tell them to say something and they say something completely different. Not even close. So, like, saying Elmo wouldn't be that far off. Mm-hmm. I feel. Well, and next week I'll definitely have more, like, shout out, just trash, more hot topics. Oh. Um, but I just want to catch up and get back into the swing of things with this. And Hello. We caught up. We caught you guys up. Just a little chit chat hangout sesh. Yeah. And I'm excited to film collabs on YouTube yes. right now. Mm-hmm. I still don't know where we're filming, but we're going to figure yeah. it out. And, um, leave some, cause we need a little help forming a list of like video ideas, like collabs or not that we're going to do. Um, cause like aside from collabs, like we are just going to be yeah, they doing more video collabs. ideas. Um, so think of more old style like fun video ideas for us and leave them in the comments below. And please, if you're listening to this on an audio and on an audio platform, please give it a five star review. Give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Comment, 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 anything, comment the word comment, comment, Andrew, comment, Sam, comment a period. Something, Sam. something I'm not having for 10 months. I was just going to say that. That's nice. You're lucky. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, we love you guys. So much. um, We'll be back. Next week. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, but I would if you're nice and you want to give me a hug. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.